Hello, everybody. So today's lab, we're moving on to measuring magnetic fields. In particular, we're going to measure the Earth's magnetic field. And it's a simple and straightforward uh, procedure. And let's, uh, there it is. So the experimental setup consists of a compass in the middle of a ring of current with an adjustable number of turns in the coil of wire. And so we went over in class how to derive the magnetic field due to a, uh, a circular loop of wire. And that's basically what we're going to do here. And it's going to be right at the axis. So the value of z, if you remember the equation we did in class, the value of z is going to be zero. Um, but uh, we'll go through the basic steps. So we're going to measure the magnetic field of the Earth using a, a coil of um, current of, like I said, an adjustable number of loops. It'll either be 5, 10, or 15. So the Earth, uh, we're going to be focusing on the horizontal component of the Earth. Uh, and so we're going to let BE be the horizontal component, which is about 2.0 times 10 to the negative 5 Tesla, plus anything else that might contribute to the background. So we're going to consider a point at the center of a circular loop of radius capital R with capital N turns. And like I said, in this experiment, capital N will either be 5, 10, or 15. And it will have a current I. So the magnetic field at the center of this, uh, the center of the coil is going to be capital N times mu naught. Again, mu naught is the permeability of free space, or 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 tesla meter per ampere. I is going to be the current divided by 2R, where R is the radius of the coil. And so we're going to measure R in the other uh, film clip. Uh, that's going to be the first thing we do is um, basically measure the diameter and the radius is that number divided by two. So we adjust the compass so that, I mean, the compass is going to point in the direction of the Earth's magnetic field. So we're going to adjust the orientation of the compass so that corresponds to zero degrees. So you'll see that the, um, the compass is scaled by degrees. And so you want the compass initially to be pointing at zero. And then when you apply a current, the um, component of the magnetic field in a perpendicular direction to the Earth's magnetic field is going to change and, uh, or is going to increase. And so what you have is the tilt uh, is going to increase from theta. It's gonna start at zero when there's no current and it's going to increase as you add the current so that the tangent of theta, which is equal to the coil's magnetic field divided by the Earth's magnetic field, and that's equal to n mu naught i divided by 2 times r times the Earth's magnetic field. And so what we're going to do is for n equals 5, n equals 10, and n equals 15, we're going to plot the tangent of theta versus i, and that slope is going to equal n times mu naught divided by 2r be. So we're going to use that slope to calculate the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field. So we're going to work in five degree increments from 0 to 50. We're going to measure the current um, and then plot the tangent of theta versus i. Um, and so we're going to do it in five degree increments. And again, you'll see the procedure. You're going to compare to the expected value, and so you're going to find this on a website, and input the data for Ronkonkoma, New York on June 24th, 2020. So we did this a couple of weeks ago. And so you're doing it for n equals 5, n equals 10, and n equals 15. So you should have one table uh, with the current, um, uh, with the theta, the tangent of theta, i for n equals 5, i for n equals 10, and i for n equals 15. And then you're going to have three graphs. If you know how to do all three graphs on one plot, um, you know, that's fine. Just make sure you get the three slopes and the y-intercept should be zero. So get the three slopes and from those slopes, calculate values for the magnetic field to the earth and see how accurate you get them. And as usual, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me via email. Um, 
Uh, the video presentation and the lab report are due on Monday at midnight. Okay, thank you uh, very much, and I will talk to you soon.